childhood obesity. Hello, welcome to this week's terrifying tale. boy who ate too much cake. There once was a boy, a skinny young thing. He was given a whole cake every day, until it was outwards, not upwards he was growing, and later on he did pay. His middle became six feet wide, his ankles all swelled up. His aches and pains multiplied, and he could no longer stand up. So what did happen to this young boy, this victim of obesity? Well, he started going to Weight Watchers and lost five stone, and now he's fine. Well, it's lucky I don't eat cake then, only cheese, more cheese, and generally cheese. Uh, despite my unvaried diet, eating a healthy and balanced diet is important. So, what do some people think? We all know that childhood obesity is a growing issue, but what is the public's standpoint on this? My name's Jenny Jenkins, and I brought it upon myself to ask the public what their standpoint on healthy eating is. Oh look, a law-abiding citizen! Let's go ask what they think. Hello there, Missy. Hello. Hi, Granny. Would you mind me if I ask, what are your opinions on childhood obesity and on healthy eating? Well, back in my day, we ate what we were given. Bubble and squeak, faggots and peas, liver, kidneys, human toes. Well, that was interesting. Hey look, there's another person over there. Would you mind telling me your opinions on childhood obesity and healthy eating? I think that healthy eating is terribly important. Childhood obesity is an issue. Yeah, a big issue, a large issue, a colossal issue. Do you think the child want a copy? And here we have a member of the youth itself willing to share his story for us to hear and broaden our understanding about the seriousness of this issue. Well, my uncle was obese. He died in a car accident. He had a heart attack and was run over. So, ma'am, what are your opinions on childhood obesity and healthy eating? Well, I used to be obese, but then I got a gastric ban. There you have it, folks, the public opinion regarding obesity. Back to you in the studio. Quiz question. What contributes to childhood obesity? Is it A. Lack of exercise, B. Eating radish, or C. Writing poetry. The answer is A. Lack of exercise. A sedentary life can lead to many health problems, including obesity. Good day and welcome to the news from where? Where? The United Kingdom, where the childhood obesity crisis is prevalent as 26.4% of children in Wales are overweight or obese and 22.4% in England and Scotland. Now over to Otto Snell for more information about this topic. Otto? Thank you, Amanda! Well, as we know, childhood obesity is a growing issue. But for just how long has it been an issue? Obesity levels have risen dramatically in the past 50 years, particularly in this century. Statistics from 2015 and 16 state that 11.7% of 4 to 5 year olds in Wales are obese. A further 14.5% overweight. That is a whopping 26.2% of children in Wales 
overweight or obese compared to 22.6% of those in England. A ridiculous figure! So, how can we tackle this issue? Well, in recent years the government proposed a sugar tax, which caused many big companies to reduce the amount of sugar in their drinks. So, that's the end of that. But is it? Well, the answer is, we don't know. The measure is recent and we don't have sufficient data on whether it will tackle childhood obesity. But the real question is, will my Robin Reliant pass its MOT? That's the real question. The real question. Back to you, Amanda. Eating apples is good for your health. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Hi, I'm a loud individual. Are you suffering from bloating? Bad moods? And trouble getting up the stairs? Well, you should try all new exercise. Exercise can come in a variety of forms. For example, walking. Weightlifting. Cycling. Opening the door. And many more. So buy exercise today. Not guaranteed to cure all of these problems. Weights not included. Stairs not included. Bicycle not included. Do not try if you suffer from a serious heart condition subject to availability. That's 100% accurate. Exercise can combat all of those things, including bad mood. Although some ca the same can't be said for my uncle Walter. Um, he does some for daily and is a grumpy old git. Uh, nothing can cure him. Everyone should know that it's not wise to in overindulge. This next person took relishing in luxury to the a little too far. Fatal fools, fatal fools, don't be tools like fatal fools. Henry VIII ate over 5,000 calories a day. He got so obese that machines had to be invented so that he could go up the stairs. Not a good idea. So, don't overindulge. Remember to eat at least five portions of fruit and veg a day. One man. One cake. One ounce of self-control. And his battle against temptation. Will he defeat temptation? Or will he fall at its feet? Even though I've never been chased by cake, I have been chased by him. Malcolm. <laughs> but I but I sure would be caught by those two. What is it, Sean? Something that's not quite right here on top of <gasps> It seems, Hotton, that the game is afoot. Get to do at least one hour of exercise every day. Oh,
obesity can be beaten with several simple steps we can reverse all the junk you beat and we can take back your quadriceps stop guzzling that sugary drink stop shoving that cake in your face we can take you back now from the brink we can win this strenuous race childhood obesity Childhood obesity.